My name is Cassie Krogan and I'm going to be discussing the technology of prosthetic arms. The current state of the art of this technology involves the production of sockets that are custom made to fit the amputee's stump. Slightly more advanced prosthetic arms exist with the use of myoelectricity. Electrical signals generated naturally by the amputee's muscles are used to control the artificial limb. A likely future development of this technology is called the prosthetic interface device which is often referred to as a USP port for the body. This mechanism involves connecting the interface to the bone of the amputee, which has the benefit of reducing risk of infection. This technology is not just a mechanical system. Instead, it uses electrical connection between the nervous system and the artificial limb. Cambridge Bio Augmentation Systems have been investigating the prosthetic interface device the company has been undertaking preclinical trials and clinical trials in humans were hoped to begin in 2018. Therefore, it's unlikely to be at least it is likely to be at least 10 years until this technology is widely available and implemented. Evidence that suggests this development is likely to come about was from the University of Cambridge website, which published an article on bionic bodies, quoting reasons in favour of revolutionising bionic limbs with the use of the prosthetic interface, interface device. From the CRAAP analysis looking at authority, the article was published by Emel Hewage and Oliver Armitage, both of whom were once engineering students at the University of Cambridge and have since undertaken PhDs. This suggests Hewage and Armitage to have qualifications worthy to discuss the use and development of bionic limbs. The article appears to hold accuracy since information is being discussed on the University of Cambridge website. Also, a statistic, statistic on financial benefit is mentioned, suggesting research has been done to investigate the success of this new technology. Evidence that suggests this development is unlikely to come about was it found on an article on Slate.com, which focuses on the practicality of prosthetic limb advancements, suggesting that increased complexity or prosthetic limb mechanisms can leave the amputee requiring extensive training or becoming or become a burden for the user. This implies that new development developments are unlikely to become widely used. Using CRAAP analysis, I observed the relevance of the article. Although it does not refer reference bionic limbs, the reference is more general. Although it does refer does reference bionic limbs, the reference is more general as opposed to discussing the likelihood of, of the prosthetic interface device coming about. The currency of the information is slightly out of date since the article was published June 2016. The information has not been updated or revised, suggesting the source not to be of complete relevance. I believe the prosthetic interface device will eventually become a widely used technology since there is a growing need for prosthetic limbs from a rise of diabetes, for example. And so a greater demand can bring about funding to enable more efficient technologies such as the prosthetic interface device to be implemented into society. The prosthetic interface device could bring about huge social benefits by reducing the risk of infection to amputees during fitting and providing greater movement, giving the individual more independence.